Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell when the bat rails in your mouth. Come on. Bring them out, bring them out. Hey. Bring them out, bring them out. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video about college cheer tryout tips and like what to expect, some things that you should know, and things like that, etc. So I guess let's just get started. First, I'm just going to talk about where I cheer at school. I cheer at the University of West Georgia, and technically, if I make the team, because we haven't had tryouts yet, I would be a second year on the team. First year I was an alternate because I tore my ACL sadly, so hopefully this year will be better and I won't get hurt. But yeah, let's just get into the questions and tips and whatever. <laughs> so I made a list of questions about things that I want to discuss in this video regarding like what I think some tips and tricks are for college tryouts. For me especially, I think something like this would have been really helpful when I was trying out, only because I'm not from this region. I'm from the West Coast and things are a lot different down here. And so just knowing that I should have found these things or looked for these things would have been really helpful. So let's just get into it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is if you're looking at a certain school, I 100% suggest looking at the required skill lists. That'll also help you decide like whether that school's for you or you feel like you'll be successful at those tryouts. But look into that because I know for me that was a really big thing. Like I wanted to make sure that like I had the skill to feel confident going into trial. Going along with like what skills you need to have for certain cheer teams or whatnot, I 100% suggest you go into a trial only doing what you know you can do perfectly. Being clean and consistent is something that like I'm pretty sure all coaches look for. Obviously doing a standing pool is super cool or doing the two to pool that you've land maybe a couple times is awesome, but and it's probably your best bet to show what you're most confident and consistent at, but like as long as you know that you're consistent in it and like four out of five times you're gonna land, I say go for it. But if you know that it's gonna be like, I'm either gonna hit it or I'm not, I would suggest just going with what you're most consistent in. So now I'm gonna get into the topic of like finding a school and what you should do like once you found a school you like or if you don't know where you wanna go. Me, when I was a junior in high school, I had no idea where I wanted to go. Like the options were all over the place. I didn't really know a lot. Like my cheer knowledge was on a zero. What I did was I went on UCA, found the nationals that I wanted to go to and just looked up like who won, who was in what division. I watched video. And then one summer I went ahead and just kind of went everywhere. I went to West Georgia. I even went to Moorhead, dare I say it. I went to a clinic, but you have to see everything. Like everybody's different. Whatever you like is just gonna be based off the person. I went to University of Alabama. I went to, where else did I go? I went to Troy. I went to a bunch of different places, but at least I knew I wanted to be in the South. Like that's where I knew I wanted to be just cause like cheer is really big over here and it's really not so much where I'm from. Going off of that, I'm gonna say this. Once you find the place, like once you know, and you're gonna get that feeling, like I kind of always was like, oh, like I'm not gonna know where I wanna go. No, like you will know, like either if it's based off the campus or the cheer team and the girls you meet, like you will know where you belong, where you see yourself the best and where you feel like you're gonna be the most comfortable. And once you do, stay with it. And I understand like when you're 18 like and trying to figure out where you want to go, like you can be all over the place. Like you can be like, I want to go here. And then if I don't go here, like I want to go here, which is totally understandable. But my best thing to tell you is just, if you can find one that you know for the most part that you love, stay with it because they will notice that. Like if you come to multiple clinics, if you keep posting about them, like they know, and they know that you really want to go there, they're gonna be more excited for you to come there. And going off of that, once you find out where you want to go, look into clinics and things like that because that's where you're really gonna find out if that's really the place for you. My program offers clinics like throughout the year, but they also offer spring practices where you can go and experience a practice. I had been to a different school's tryout clinic and I just really wasn't a, the biggest fan of tryout clinics only because you get a vast major like majority of ages. Like you're not just stunting with like girls your age, you're stunting with eight year olds, 12 year olds, 18 year olds. So sometimes you just kind of felt like you weren't studying, like stunting with people like that you were actually gonna be seen with. So I found going to an actual practice and stunting with the actual people from the team gave me a better idea of like what the team is like, what the dynamics like and like, where I say like a lot and it just if I was gonna fit in if I was good at the stunts that we were doing because if I get an eight pound girl and I'm doing these insane tricks that says nothing about me you know what I'm saying if I'm actually stunting with the people that are on the team it'll also give the coach a better idea if I'm a better fit so another thing too is you want to dress the part like when I say you want to look like everybody else like you want to like look like everybody else so that your skills can be the thing that like makes you stand out like your technique your tumbling whatever it may be and you know go ahead and dm someone on instagram like 
asking them like, hey, like, what's your guys' look? Like, what are you going for? I know a lot of programs post things on social media being like, hey, for tryouts, like, come dress like us. Like, we always wear, like, you have to wear, like, Rust Georgia colors, hair braided, low pony, um, and you have to wear, like, running shorts. That is the biggest thing that I have learned because where I'm from, we do not wear running shorts at all. And over here, Sophie shorts, Nike running shorts is the only thing that you will see people wearing. I don't know if that goes for everyone's program in the South, but West Georgia, 100%, you show up in spandex, you will end up like me. This is off topic, but like now that I wear running shorts, I realized how uncomfortable just wearing spandex was. Like, totally weird. Now that I think about it. Another thing too, just like with the look, just understand that it's just in your best interest to look like everybody else on the team. And I completely understand because I came from somewhere completely different that for me, I felt the most comfortable when I looked like everybody else. So that wasn't standing out in necessarily like a negative way. So maybe in your high school, you wear high ponytails and a bow. That's probably not gonna be the best for a team that you only ever see you wear a low pony, like a low ponytail, you know? It's just kind of dressing the look, just kind of fitting it with the molds. At the end of the day, you are a team and on any cheer team, you and all your teammates wear the same thing, right? Exactly. So just looking the part and just making sure that you look like everybody else and let your skills do the talking is probably in your best interest. So on actual tryouts, Always, always, always show up on time early, 10 minutes early, regardless, 15, 15 minutes. We have the 15 minute rule at our school. Always show up before you're supposed to be there because I promise that will stand out in the long run. You'll never have any difficulty being the one that's late or whatever or not. You'll get, like I'm telling you, just showing up, I just, I know that showing up time just can seem like something so dumb, but showing up early to things makes such an impression to coaches about you as a person, as an athlete, and just in general, for everything, you're just always gonna have to show up on time and cheerleading, so might as well start at tryouts. The worst thing would be go to a tryout knowing nothing, you know? We, there's material that's better to be known before trials even happens, like fight songs, cheers, and stuff like that. And the more you know, and the more confident you feel on just the basic standard stuff, the better you make succeed at trials. So some minor things that I think also make the overall difference is getting in contact with the coach. For me, I met my coach like my junior year of high school and had like many in encounters with her until tryouts. And so I just think like getting a relationship with them before you've even made the team kind of makes, gives you the levy up on like if they want you or not because they, they know you on more of a personal level. You're not just a stranger, you know? Obviously, if your skills can talk for you, good for you. But maybe if you don't have like standing full or not as much as experience, like getting to know the coach and being like, hey, like I really want to learn, like you're excited to be there, makes them, kind of gives you the upper hand. The last thing that I'm gonna be talking about, which I honestly think is the most important and a really big contender in tryouts and making a team and stuff like that is the way that you are coachable. Me in the past, I'm gonna be completely honest. I've never been the most coachable, you know? I used to be take everything just so personal and get so butthurt if someone was like, you're doing this wrong or you're doing that wrong, like da da da, kind of get like defensive but I've seen so much growth as me as an athlete, as a cheerleader, just like realizing that like, I don't know everything. And honestly, just going to a cheer college tryout, like you kind of already get put in that position of like, I don't know anything because the skills are vastly different from high school. Like you're not just doing it full up, you're literally flipping a girl. So going into it, I kind of already had this different mindset of like, I don't know anything, like I have to learn, you know? And when you do learn, you're gonna get the same correction 500 times at least, like always. You're gonna get it 500 times, you know? It just is what it is and just being coachable and taking a correction, even sometimes when you get the same correction 500 times, you're gonna get a little peed off. Mind I use this profanity. You're gonna get a little angry. My best interest is always to say, okay, move on, because at the end of the day, we all know that the person is just trying to help. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys learned a little bit something about college cheer tryouts. If you haven't had tryouts, good luck. I hope this helps in some way or form. And for any future videos, go ahead and subscribe below and let me know what y'all like to see. All right, see y'all.